Hey everybody, it's Colette Baron reed and welcome to the Universal Energy Forecast for this week of April the 27th. Now, when I do the Oracle card reading every single week, the forecast means something to every one of us individually as well as collectively. So, when we have, say, four different themes in a week, what the cards are asking you, because they're oracles, is are you in alignment with these energies for your highest good, or is your subconscious somehow sabotaging it? So what I want to do is tell you what the energies are and then show you a little bit about how you could learn how to work with them and if you're out of alignment, how to get back into alignment. So the first card of the week, and by the way too, they all relate to one another. So one card on its own may mean something different than it would when it is beside another. So that's why I'm going to tell you all four of them first and then we'll go through them. So the four energies of this week is Deep Freeze from the Enchanted Map. Um, coming to life, Dragon's Lair, and One Ring Circus. Wow, this is going to be interesting. Okay, so we start the week off trying to understand what does deep freeze mean to all of us? Does it mean that we're not supposed to be doing anything? No. What it means is, in this case, because coming to life was the card beside it, is what is coming out of the deep freeze for you? We're entering into spring full on, so it's obvious that the seasons are doing this, but what did you have to put on ice over the past few months? What have you put aside that's time to bring out again? Because coming to life is all about bringing what was frozen or what was inert, what was static, what was not moving into new life. You'll even notice that the card design, beautiful, beautiful design, my artist Jenna de la Grattalia did, um, is that you see this beautiful being coming right out of the statue, out of the stone. So we're going to be looking at new opportunities from things you thought were done. That's going to come up for us this week. Now the third card is Dragon's Lair. Well, of course, something that is new and is on its hasn't found its sea legs, for example, yet, uh, um, is is needs to be protected. So it's saying to you, and Dragon's Lair is a really important card because it's asking you, do you sabotage your good things? Do you accept and receive the blessings of the universe, or do you? shut it down and when something new is starting or kind of go off on a tangent or do something to prevent its growth. And that's something that we all need to look at this week. The last card is One Ring Circus. Now, when you follow along with this, One Ring Circus tells us two things. One, we have the power within us. Everything that we need is within us to co-create a reality that is blessed, that is well-being based and that is good for us. I guess that's really, I'm kind of stumbling for a second because there's so much to say. But it also warns us, when do you think you're doing everything all by yourself? So the shadow of that is, we are a we, we are not solitary beings. The egoic mind or the subconscious mind is going to try to shut you down when new things are coming in that are unfamiliar to you, right? So the deep freeze, remember we went back to coming to life, that's brand new, something is new. Subconscious goes, whoa, I don't want that new thing. I wanna go back to the thing that I didn't really like anyway, but it was familiar. This is what we need to be looking at this week. Um, and uh, we'll all have an opportunity. I already had my opportunity this morning. You can ask my husband something that happened. He was like, get on your bird. <laughs> I was like an automatic pilot and I couldn't even believe that happened. Um, and we're all meant to be filled with radical self-compassion too as we approach this week and we see what new things are desiring to come through us for the highest good of all and for the highest good of ourselves. And we have to be nice to ourselves just in case we do try and sabotage ourselves or kind of wander off into grandma's forest where the big bad wolf is there we really have to come back and be in alignment and be back on track. Anyway, I hope this was helpful to you. And until next week, I send you all my love. If you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and share it with your friends. 
Canadians! <laughs> I'm mentioning this every week because I am coming to your town. If you live in Alberta, if you live in Saskatchewan, if you live in Manitoba, and if you live in Ontario, I'm going to be coming with my beautiful show, Messages from Spirit. You've seen me on television. It's all about dead people and pets. Um, and I'll be bringing the event to you, to your hometown. So please, I hope to see you there. I love you all. Bye-bye. Traveling down the road, I didn't know that I was lost. I had tried too many shortcuts. And the cost left my heart broken. So I had it closed for repairs. Wandering in my desert, your oasis.